All right, welcome back to a new Touchy Center tutorial. And this one we're going to look at this uh, generator floor plan that you can see here in the background. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to create this, even though it doesn't actually sound that cool, uh, floor plan. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to, to create this. And there's a huge variety of outcomes uh, with a very simple technique, which is always great. Um, so before we start uh, actually making this, I want to show you where I got the uh, inspiration from, and that's this guy. He's called Andrew Heumann, I think. <laughs> uh, also being uh, Heumann on Instagram. And uh, definitely check out all his works, but the ones uh, that really inspired me to, to make what we're doing in this video is uh, are these sketches, so they're like these architectural sort of scribbles or sketches. Yeah, and I really like the look of that. It's sort of the thing I like. Well, one of the things I also scribbled as a uh, child. It's not not, you know, exactly like this, but you know, how houses from above. And so it's really fun to like make the computer do this now for me. <laughs> All right. Before we start, I also want to show you um, <clears throat> like uh, what um, possibilities you have with this. So. There's a few looks. Um, I don't really have like names for these, <laughs> so I'll just just see what you can do. Um, can uh, we have this edge effect that's uh, responsible for the lines? So we can turn that off or um, have have both of these looks combined, which I uh, really like. We can add more like walls or like thicker walls, or you know, really. Uh, have less structure, so this looks more like an actual, I don't know, area of buildings or something, something like that. I'm not entirely sure what this is. <laughs> and uh, since this is based on noise, where there's uh, all the options that you usually have with noise, so basically endless outcomes. And um, yeah, how this is working, I uh, will explain like in detail now in the process. So let's delete everything as usual and start from scratch so uh, for this one i'm gonna use a constant top uh, chop to um, set the resolution so let's just add a null to this and call it res let's change the uh, channel name to res as well and let's change this to 1080. all right let's add our first noise top and on the comment page, let's use this channel as the resolution. And let's change the pixel format to 32-bit float. Uh, let's go back here, change the uh, period to two. That's not two. Um, let's change the seed so we just don't have the default thing always. Um, we can go down a bit with the harmonic gain. We can like... Uh, change this to like 0.4 maybe, this is like 0.3, this is like 0.4. These are all um, just kind of starting values and of course you can change them to your liking. All right, now um, before we dive into the actual technique, I wanna set up everything before that so we can instantly see our outcome nicely. So let's add a uh, an edge here, like an edge top. And let's change its color to black. And um, let's now add a displace here. And change its weight to 0 0.001. And we're going to add another noise in here. And we're going to use this resolution as well. And let's add a uh, transform here to make the uh, background white. So let's change this to white and turn back comp over background color on. Now you can already see we have these lines based on uh, just this noise on a uh, white background. And we're going to come back here in a second. And let's also add another noise here because we love noise for uh, some grain. So we can just call this grain. And um, let's change the type here to random. 
and let's change the amplitude to something like 0.4 the offset to like 0.2 and the noise scale to like 0.4 so now we just have this slight grain there in the background if you if you want to have that it looks a bit more like paper then we can also add a rectangle here so we, so we have like a slight border let's also add a null here so we can see what's going on call it bg and um, change the size to one turn down the fill alpha uh, change the border color to white and change the border width and offset to 0 0.04 it's kind of a sweet number i found out <laughs> um, okay now let's look here at the noise um, now actually let's let's look at this noise a bit later let's just change the uh, pixel format also to 32-bit float and we're going to come back here okay so now let's look at the actual technique let's add a limit top here and copy and paste that four times or as many times as you want and um, let's add a composite top here and change its operation to exclude and this is also something you can you can mess around with but i found exclude to work pretty well so we can now add all of these in here by selecting them and just dragging them in there and uh, now the actual magic happens when we select all of these and uh, no, actually let's just select first two let's change these to round select the uh, other ones and change them to the like, ceiling so um, here we go we already have like this uh, square uh, yeah square pattern going on let's now look at this noise here um, let's change the uh, period to three or four um, let's change the harmonic spread to nine the uh, exponent to like point one no no to one uh, this to like point four and uh, that's pretty much it so now what we're doing is we, we're just slightly displacing um, the, the lines so they look more hand-drawn so this is kind of similar to my um, hand-drawn lines tutorial <laughs> um, but yeah here we can just sort of like now change the the uh, amount of how much we want to displace them and we can also turn the monochrome off actually so get a bit more evenly distributed effect okay so um, now that we've done that we can just sort of like take all that and put it to one side uh, so let's change um, some values here so we get an actual like, actually interesting pattern so on the first one let's change the position uh, step to like 0 0.6 so you can already see what's happening here you can just leave it this the way it is uh, let's change this to like 0 0.117 or something these are all again values you can change to your liking and let's change this to like 0 0.06 so if I go here to the noise and change the seat you can already see we get a lot of interesting patterns out there there is more we can do here uh, we can add noises in here so uh, or before that let's actually add some transforms to uh, these two uh, whoops so um, now we can for example uh, rotate this if we wanted to that would be one way to uh, you know make some interesting uh, patterns in there uh, or we could go to this one for example and change like the scale to like two or something so we don't just have like squares but sort of like kind of rectangles um, let's get rid of this uh, rotation for now we can also rotate this to 180 so we're just like don't have the the same base sort of or like the rotated base um, yeah just again as always <laughs> feel free to play around with this now let's copy and paste this noise two times and uh, put one up there one down here or wherever and uh, use a composite here and uh, here and put these in there we don't need to change the operation for now we can just leave it at mu as multi uh, as multiply on both so whoops let's get rid of that um, 
yeah, so this uh, adds a lot of uh, cool looking. I don't think that's a sentence you can say like that. <laughs> um, we can change the period here to something higher, maybe uh, change the exponent to something higher, um, or like to something lower. I don't know, just play around with this. Uh, maybe go down with this. I don't know, something like that. And uh, down here, same thing. We can play around with the exponent, uh, maybe make that a bit higher. So that's cool. I like that. Um, what we can also do now is uh, insert an edge here. And we get some more lines. We can change the sample step to like three, for example. Now we get these cool, like, sort of double lines. Is that a word? I don't know. And um, after the component, now we can also add some more stuff. So in here, you can see uh, what our map actually looks like, or our texture looks like. And with the edge, we just sort of make this look like lines. <laughs> um, or, and you, we can add another limit here and go to the quantize tab and change this to like uh, round as well. So now we can like change the amount of um, structures that we can see. So first, uh, as I showed in the beginning, this sort of becomes more of a mess. And then um, like it gets less and less structures. And that is because um, if you look here, what we're basically doing, we're, uh, we're lessening, um, we're decreasing. That's what I want to say. Decreasing the amount of uh, grayscale. So we basically making less and less values until we just add black and white. So it's only black and white at this point. So um, this is a nice way to sort of reduce the amount of, of structure. And um, here we can also add a positioning quantize, position quantize, and um, to, to like sort of make this more rectangular. So I like this a lot. Um, yeah, so we can also go to the edge here and turn comp over input on. So we get this, these sort of like structure, or like uh, areas, I think, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I also uh, like that, but uh, I think that's, that's even cooler. Okay, so as I said, please uh, play around with this. You can, of course, add more limits. You can add more uh, noises in here. You can um, change uh, these values for uh, different sort of looks. You can change the base noise. You can uh, go here and change the amount of um, like displacement if you, if you want. You can have no grain. You can have more grain. <laughs> uh, really anything your heart desires. One thing I usually like to do also is to like just collapse this. And it's gonna like uh, complain in a second because uh, if I like unbypass this, the uh, connection is broken. So I need to like go back here, split the view, go back here. And now let's use this again. So um, this way it's the whole thing is a bit cleaner. We can now call this post and give it a nice color. And um, we can also give all these limits, maybe like an orange color. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to color your uh, network. All right, so um, there might be a part two uh, to this video at some point when I have explored more uh, of this technique. So it's like I actually just sort of started yesterday to work on this and kind of got hooked and wanted to share. So, um, yeah, let me know if you have any ideas for this or any questions. And uh, I want to like uh, shout out or like, yeah, thank all my patrons uh, massively. That's really nice to have such a such a great support from people all over the world, uh, especially at a time like this. So I hope you all like well out there. And thank you so much for supporting me. And if you if you haven't like if you're not part of my Patreon, maybe check that out. You can like have some exclusive files and, and files and videos and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, 
Um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.